Hey guys, it's Crazy Purple, and welcome back to the review of Grand Fandango. This is episode 4. Today, I am joined by my friend, Pumpkin. Give me the draft. Sorry, but Gage is here. And also, Happy Birthday to Grand Fandango. Then we go to year four, which is the final year, which means this is the final episode. And then we meet May Calavera again. Hmm. Waiting room number two. Next. Uh... is God damn, this nigga can't do anything right. What the hell was that? I don't know. Bruno? Bruno Martinez? You! You were the guy who packed me in there! You could have at least given me a magazine! Four years with nothing to read but this damn mug! What are you doing here? And if you were headed this way, why didn't you offer me a lift? Ah! Wait, I'm getting out of here. This world's for suckers. Well, that was interesting. Then we meet good old Chapino. Then after helping Gloss, we actually head back to the Rubicava, or whatever it's called. Then, when we're trying to get our whip, someone fucking put dominoes over the place. And come on, someone's working on that. That takes a long ass time. So we basically can't get to the fucking whip. And then after exploring the entire fucking piece of shit of the Rubicava, I don't even know what we did, but I'm tired and I am too fucking lazy. So let's just say we did it. So we meet our homie again and we're gonna go and take over Las Vegas. Whatever it's called. And we're we're a fight over it. And after TMNT and the sewers, we head to a math lab. Hector, is that you? You better back off, man! Is this dude fucking retarded? So after getting our gun, we head out to, um, here. Then, after doing this stupid puzzle, we get a makeover. You'll have to wait your turn. I'm in the middle of some very frustrating negotiations here. Ah! Yeah. That's the nigga we need to pop. Looks like Celso found his wife after all. And basically, Celso, he, he found his wife. I don't know who you are, and I don't know what spell you cast on the Flores couple, but stick around. Once I'm done with them, there's something across town I'd like to show you. Then we get this nice shot of this lady, which wouldn't make more sense if she was a skeleton. Overall, this is the land of the dead and oh my fucking god look how tall and fat this nigga is i mean how how is he even fucking fat let's have a big ass rib cage or something this could be your office yeah try this on see how it feels that's yours too and as an added bonus two percent of these mr Then Meche gets her golden ticket, but did really have to go up her fucking skirt, come on man. And this is why you don't get in strangers cars, kids, because he, she fucked up her homie, and she fucking betrayed her asses. Hola Manuel. This must be Hector's murderous mausoleum. And we get a cat popped her ass, or a flower. 
Can you shut up? Oh, ah, liquid nitrogen. Not to be used on bone. Ah. There you go. Then after that happens, this happens. Huh, Sal? Got something you want to share with the class? Only this. Hello, Akbar! <laughs> Alright, now I should explain. This is the remastered. Why? Because the original footage did show the ending so guy get some new footage i'll leave a link to the footage in the description thank you for the nigga who made this shit possible <laughs> Wait, what? That was Hector's death? That was unsatisfying as hell. And, uh, demons ride free, right? Aw, oh, man, you know I can't go with you. I'm a spirit of the land and all that. I can't ever leave this world. I guess I got so wrapped up in saving people, I just assume I'd be able to save you too. Yeah, but I don't need to be saved. I like it here. I'm not all alone in that basement anymore, thanks to you. I got a new job and all these new friends. I'm a big demon success story. So, I guess this is it then. Come here, give me a hug. <laughs> you were the best boss I ever had. Bye. <laughs> and I am going to be 100% honest with you. When I first saw that, I legit fucking cried. <laughs> yeah, rape is good. Manny? Yeah? When we get to the next world... What is it, Angel? Are we going to be together? You know, sweetheart, if there's one thing I've learned, it's this. Nobody knows what's gonna happen at the end of the line. So you might as well enjoy the trip. And damn, it's all over. It's done. I completed my review of Grim Fandango. I wanted to do this for months. Finally, got out there. Although, I do wish I could re like master some of my old episodes. Cough, cough, like the remastered. And uh, yeah, bye.